Hello my babies! In this video today, I have a very exciting announcement. Mama Swole, your Swole mother, is going to be doing her first official powerlifting meet, babies! I am so freaking excited. I don't even remember the last time I was this excited about something. <gasps> it's so cool. I am so freaking passionate about it. As you all may know, I have always been more of a bodybuilder. I once competed in a bodybuilding competition. My training style has always been more bodybuilding-esque. But we are switching over. We are making the transition from bodybuilder to power lifter and I couldn't be more excited y'all. I'm gonna be competing in June. So far I'm just loving it so much. It gives me so much fulfillment. Let the Mama Swole powerlifting arc commence. Voice over Mama Swole coming at y'all. So today's workout was a push day and the first thing I'm noticing about powerlifting is it is so freaking difficult to figure out how much weight I'm lifting because I'm trying to use kilos since I know that's what I'm gonna be using at the meet. But I gotta bring my calculator out every 10 seconds, bro. I'm like, what? What? Am, what is this again? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be pressing. I think with time, that will get a lot simpler. Just all the math, man. I've never been a fan of math, so that's not my forte. But I think, like I said, I think I might get used to it real quick. It feels kind of cool, though. It's like, yeah, I'm lifting kilos, bitch. I'm official. Like, I feel like an official athlete. That's a really great feeling. I kind of missed feeling that. I felt that when I was competing in my bodybuilding competition, but it's just cool to see the differences between powerlifting and bodybuilding. It's very interesting interesting to train off of RPE. That's what my coach, his programming is all based off of RPE. And since this is the first week of my training, the RPE is pretty low. It's at RPE at about five to six. It's pretty simple. I'm not really sweating that much. Of course, I don't really sweat anyways because I am immortal, but of course the bench press is my favorite exercise of all time freaking love benching bro and i'm really excited to see how i can improve the main three lifts especially just with a few minor technique tweaks like i think it is the most fascinating thing that all you have to do is sometimes like move your foot a different way or like put your arms at a different angle and you can lift so much more weight like i just think that is the concept of that is so cool and the human body is so interesting that's why i think i'm really gonna love this sport so far i really love it i'm also doing exercises on this program that i've never done before or that I haven't done in like a really long time so leaning lateral raises on the cable I haven't done those in ages a seated shoulder press with the dumbbells oh my god how I have missed this exercise because I love this exercise I hated doing an overhead press with the barbell bro I always hated it but it just feels really good to have an end date with a goal in mind if any of y'all struggle with meeting your goals and you're not setting deadlines that's probably why you're struggling so bad because when you have a date and you're like damn I gotta get in shape or I have to lift this weight by this date you're gonna stay way more focused and way more accountable so I would recommend that even if you're not doing like a competition or anything, even just with any other area of your life when it comes to goals, it doesn't have to be fitness, it could be anything, but just give yourself a deadline because if you give yourself a deadline, it's gonna help so much, bro. Another thing I'm not used to quite yet is doing abs every day. My abs better be freaking popping, bro, by the end of this program. <laughs> because I do not like doing abs. But I gotta say, it's kind of growing on me and I am excited to see how my abs will transform. I think that's gonna be really cool. And I'm really excited to see how my physique is gonna transform, bro. I feel like I want people to ask me, this is what I told my coach when he asked me about my goals. I said, I want people to ask me if I'm still natural. That's what I want. I saw y'all on my community post. You were like, oh, you're gonna announce that you're going on the juice. And I'm not. A lot of the other comments were like, oh, an OF. And that's also not the announcement. The announcement is Mama Swole is officially a power lifter, baby. But y'all crack me up with that. Y'all always be asking me about that, bro. <laughs> also, if you guys like the outfit that I'm wearing in this video, it is from a brand that I work with called Define. And I do have a discount code for you. You can use discount code Mama Swole to support me and to get a discount. I'm really excited to see how I transform and how strong I get. I feel like I'm going to get really strong. And it's just so exciting to see yourself make progress, bro. Like, I'm just really excited to take you guys along on this journey with me. I think in future videos, I'm going to show you my meals as well as the workouts because I do have a meal plan also. Let me know what other kind of content y'all want to see in the comments about my powerlifting journey because I definitely want to document this experience and let y'all know how I'm feeling. So far, week one, I'm feeling freaking amazing. It is so 
awesome to have something to work towards again it's so awesome to feel official and like i'm part of a community that's another reason why i wanted to start powerlifting is because i feel like the community is so positive and everybody's just so down to earth i'll see people in the gym that before they would just be like hi and i'd go hi that's it that's the whole conversation but now that i'm a power lifter i go up to people i'm like hey i'm doing a meet and they're like really when who's your coach what's your training style blah, blah blah like they just start opening up to me and i feel like i'm really making more connections and more friends at the gym and it's so beautiful bro that is another thing that i will say i see a slight difference in between the bodybuilding and the powerlifting community i feel like bodybuilders obviously are way more competitive not that powerlifters can be competitive because they can but i just feel like powerlifters are a little more down to earth and i'm not throwing any shade at bodybuilders don't get that twisted i still have so much respect for bodybuilders and i'll always love bodybuilding in my heart but i will say it is cool to experience a different kind of community yeah you guys i'm really i got i got chills recording this bro because i'm just like i said in the beginning of this video i haven't been this excited or passionate about something in so long and it feels really really amazing so let me know the future videos y'all would like to see in the comments below if you guys like this video make sure you give it a like subscribe to join the swole squad if you'd like to support me on patreon for just two dollars a month link is in the description shout out to my patrons i love you so much if you'd like to support me on cash app Venmo, or paypal link is also in the description i also have merch and i have workout programs on mamasoul.com so make sure you go check all that out i will see you guys in the next one have a good ass day how to get my weight up yeah 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 hey. wait in the cake up yeah 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 turn up in the gym no i'm calling mama swole that little shawty and you know i'm on a road press like an empress no one to impress bitch find me on the guest list got that louis v necklace subscribe to the mama swole channel even if your name is random got it lit like a candle catch me swerving in the lambo